Hello everyone, this is Roger from AirTanksPlus.com. Today I'd like to uh, show you a video on a Corbin swaging press on how it works. That's how we're making these bullets that we're shooting out of our modified air guns. So our air guns are modified. They have different barrels in them with a different twist rate and a different diameter. So they're made to shoot these bullets. So we've been playing around, but I wanted to kind of one, show you what the bullet looks like. You can kind of see it here. If I zoom in on it or focus in on it, see that's a little hollow point that it makes. So it's a really neat little round, uh, especially for shooting the ground squirrels. They open up really well. So these are the bullets we made with the Corbin swaging press. So I'm going to go in and show you that clip next. I'll bring in the, the clip of the Corbin swaging press. Then I'm going to show you how these bullets performed on our last hunting trip when I was shooting them out to 153 yards. So stay tuned for the video. I hope you guys like what you see. This is a shortened version of the video. There'll be a longer, probably behind the scenes version that'll go into more detail on how we make the pills and uh, just kind of talking about lead and casting, um, rambling on of course, but this is a down and dirty version of the Corbin swaging press. So I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. We're swaging up some bullets. What we have here are called cores that we've casted up using this machine over here. And I'll show you that in a minute. And from here, we're going to take, or Gene's going to take that and put it in the Corbin swaging press. So what's it called? What's it called, Gene? Yeah. And he's going to show you how it works. Go ahead and show him. Okay. First, you grab a blank or a core. Now it's like that. You got a little lube on your fingers here. Okay. Some little bit of Corbin lube. A little swage lube there. You don't need much, just a little bit. Go ahead and pull your handle down. Go ahead and reset that pin. Drop your core in. Push. Notice the uh, the sprue that comes out, and it presents you oh. with a perfectly shaped bullet. No air pockets, hollow point, anything like that. Here's another. Let me show you one more time. Take your core, rub your fingers on it. Go ahead and set your punch so it's down. Look Notice that. it squeezes it out. Pull your core up, or your slug up, you're ready to go. Look at that hollow point. Those are right at 35 grains. These are 35 grains. 35 grains. We've done some uh, 40 grains. We can go all the way up to 45 grains with this setup. So we have these uh, cores that we cast up. We we made a, took a mold. We made a, made our own mold basically to make these with our Castmaster over here, and this is an awesome product. We had this for doing the two fifty sevens, so we were casting those up, and they were just awesome. We're shooting one hundred and fifty three yards. I'm trying to tune my gun in, so one hundred and fifty three yards. Here's a target I was shooting. There's a bullet next to it, so. The wind is blowing a little bit, but still that's not bad. You can see it going left and right. That's the wind. But that's it. And that's a 35 grain 217 slug out of an air gun at 153 yards. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, reach out to us at airtanksplus.com. If you like this video, please subscribe. Hit the bell button to be notified when we release new videos. There's a link to the Corbin website below, and stay tuned for the other video that might follow, the behind-the-scenes video, where we actually go in-depth and uh, show you the casting process, how we make the pills, etc. All right, thanks again. Bye. <laughs>
I've already showed you us casting the pills. Oh, no, no, there we go. The core, the yeah, I got it. Here we go. Ready? The blanks, the cores. So I've already showed you with this machine earlier how we're casting up the cores. So we're we're buying pure.